Hey, score! After nearly three decades, the FIFA World Cup is returning to North Texas. Yeah, this is a huge deal. Our Chris Sadegi is live outside AT&T Stadium in Arlington. Okay, Chris, yesterday you said, look, we got a really good chance to be one of the host cities, um, and now that's become a reality, so we have you to thank for that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, it was a pretty easy prediction if you had been listening to the experts because all along, they were saying that DFW was pretty much a sure thing to host. Still, it is quite the thrill for those fans when they heard our name called. Dallas. Yeah! Oh yeah, soccer fans in North Texas getting their wish. The World Cup is coming in 2026, just as it did in 1994, when it caused an explosion of soccer popularity in the U.S. Dallas, one of the 16 cities across the U.S., Canada and Mexico named to host, but one of only five to host in both 1994 and 2026. LA, San Francisco, Boston, and New York were the others. Houston joins the party this time around, so it will be a double dip for the state of Texas. It was the Cotton Bowl in 1994, but it will be AT&T Stadium in 26. The home of the Cowboys really considered the crown jewel stadium in the country and has already hosted many mega events. Cowboys owner Jerry Jones was at the watch party yesterday and said, expect the Cowboys and AT&T Stadium to go all out to make this a success. What motivates the Cowboys is the magnitude of soccer and the audience of soccer. And so that uh, there's a lot of value for us to do this in a spectacular way and do things that they'll write a book about to make this happen. So there will be some necessary changes, though. Take a look at this picture. FIFA requires specific field dimensions and also natural grass fields, so a new playing surface will have to be added, and it will be elevated 15 feet above the football field we're used to seeing. That will force some lower-level seats to be sacrificed, but the stadium will still have one of the largest capacities of any host site. The games are going to be here in Arlington, but you can expect across the area there will be fan events, festivals, things of that nature. So it's going to be a big economic boom for DFW here in four years, Sonia. Okay, and Chris, with so many cities hosting, as you were mentioning, how many games are actually going to be played here? Yeah, so I went back and checked. In 94, the Cotton Bowl hosted six games. This time around, popular opinion is, yeah, we're going to host somewhere between six and eight games really for this competition committee the one that submitted the bid the work starts now because the competition continues for the marquee games the popular opinion is it will be between dallas and new york to host the final which will be the biggest game of them all so we're going to keep our fingers crossed for that back to you all right chris thank you